Maybe you stumble over Lego pieces or tiny toy cars. And are your children's toys migrating from room to room in your house? We've got DIY storage solutions here with professional organizer Ivanka Sielkowski. <laughs> for helping us out because there's nothing like getting that wake-up call of a w Lego piece at 3 a.m. when you're just on your way to the washroom, right? Yeah. That'll get you up. I was reading statistics. The toy cars and Lego are the two largest causes of injury in family homes. <laughs> I'm so not surprised about yeah. that. So these are great DIY solutions. Um, and, I mean, you start with the tip that everything needs to have a home. Everything. everything. Every single thing. Yes. Because if you are nagging your children to say, you know, put your toys away. And they say, well, where? Put where, them where? Where am I supposed to put them? If you're talking to a two-year-old, yes. how are they going to know where it goes? So then they just find a spot and that's, it mm -hmm. doesn't help. It doesn't help. It's, so. not, it's not helping. Okay, so um, the other thing is you need to be teaching your children to clean up, um, but you have to sort of have all these different ways that they can help themselves. Right. Right? So let's talk about our first storage solution here. That is DIY. You didn't have to go out and buy a fancy thing. No. You not made at it. All. I made it. Okay. And I started off, I was going to just collect regular old toilet paper rolls. Yeah. But I'm one person, so that would have taken a very long time. Right. <laughs> so then I started going out to friends and reaching out, and I'm like, this is kind of gross. <laughs> I'm asking people for their toilet paper rolls, so I thought, you right. know, somewhere has to have something like this. So yes. um, I went to Michael's, and they have, and other craft stores have them, and it's, it's already painted, which is yes. amazing, because then you can play the game of, you know, they're sturdy. You can say, the blue car goes in the blue garage. Yes. Did you even know they sold these? I had no I, idea. I didn't until I went searching. Yeah, so craft stores have a little bit of everything. So this is nice because you not only have a system here, it's also color-coded. Yes. I know that fits with it, you. It that does. works for you, doesn't it, does. it Ivanka? It's kind of my happy place. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. So they know to sort of match the cars. How did you, did you just stack them up in there randomly? And yeah, so you can do, there are many different options. So okay. over there I have, I made a little pier Oh, and I put felt cute. on the back, so if you wanted to tip it over and lift it, like, let's say you wanted to move Can it. Can I actually pick yeah. this up? Yeah. Okay, so look at this. She's got felt at the back. Because if you tipped it over and move it somewhere else, yeah. they don't slide out. Very smart. Okay, right. so they're all in there. Yeah, and if it's against a wall, it yeah. won't scratch the wall. And then this one, you know, I just bought a, a box mm -hmm. and just put them in like, like that. Nice. And then over here I have, if you are sending your children to grandma and grandpa's yes. and you want to bring some toys with them, that always happens, mm -hmm. but then they usually don't come home. That's true. Or some of them don't come home, some of them do. Yeah. So what we've got here is a little portable garage to Look take with. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So that's so cute. Pick any box that you have at home that has a little bit of depth that can fit the whole uh, toilet paper roll in. Yeah. And then send them with that. And then when they, at the end, the beauty is that they can see, oh, there's one missing. Let's find it. Right. So grandpa doesn't step on it at three in the morning. Yes. Right? And it, this one's nice because it ties up and they can go and they've got their little... Yeah. Their little thing there. Grandpa thanks you for that, huh? I bet, yeah. That's really nice of you. <laughs> okay, so that's the DIY car garage. Um, let's talk about what you have going on Yes, here. so, I mean, obviously, these aren't going to fit in a toilet paper roll. I'm going <laughs> to point out the obvious. So what I've done, I went to Home Depot yes. and got some pieces of poplar. Okay. It's a very popular choice <laughs> for shelving. Yeah, I went there. I went there. Um, and... I love it. I love going there because they cut it for you. Yes. So I don't have tools at home, so I just walk in and, hey guys, me again. Yeah. Can you cut my measurements? Yeah. And it's so yeah. they, I put a little lip on the side mm -hmm. so that they can go up here. They don't roll off. And because yes. that's again more injuries. We want to avoid injuries. Yeah. And depending on your home setup, you can put them lower if you want your children to put them up there, but don't put them too low because then what happens is that they are used as a ladder. Oh, true story. Right? So we want our children to be accountable of, you know, what it is that they have. Yes. To be able to organize it, but you want to keep them safe, too. So yes. it's, it's keeping a balance. Or if you want to say, you know, if you're around and you can pull it off, but then at the end of the day, it always goes back up there. That's it's right. It's a great solution. Because it all has a home. Exactly. Right? And then another option is you could, I just used a chisel and I chiseled out the spot for the wheels. Oh, that's so smart. So then you can put it on here. Custom. And then, oh, in theory, it won't drive around too much. That's right. So it's going to stay. Mm -hmm. That is a very smart idea. Um, okay, so lots of ways. You've done the little cars. You've done the big trucks. Uh, you've done sort of a medium-sized truck. Now, can we deal with Lego? We can. And 
you're, you're probably one. expecting me to say some sort of fancy solution, but the solution is to keep it simple. Yes. So don't try to go out and do too many fancy things. Okay. I was a teacher before this. I don't know if you knew that. That's so right. for seven years, I have a master's of education. I studied child psychology. So I understand how the child brain works. Yes. I've seen it done time and time again where people try to get fancy with the storage of things. Right. And it doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. Blue, all in one container. <laughs> <laughs> done. Really simple. <laughs> simple, simple. Yes. Yeah, and you can, depending on how much Lego they have, these bins were great because they actually had the blue. Yeah. That made me really happy when I found I'm those. sure it did. <laughs> um, you can get longer ones, you can get ones that have wheels, you can store them under the bed. It depends on how much Lego you have. Right, okay. You can even get the really big ones you can. Um, and put all of them in there. And when, the, you know, when their projects are done, that, that becomes another problem. It does. You can get shelving for that or yes. bookshelves, or a lot of people think that they have to keep, well, we talked about this last time, books yes. <laughs> on those bookshelves. But you can keep the space empty and then display their creations there. That's what we do. They, it spent a, a lot of time was spent working on it, mm -hmm. so why just take it apart? That doesn't I know. make sense, right? I know. Well, usually the dog grabs it in his mouth and runs around <laughs> and breaks it. So that <laughs> happens, but if, if he doesn't, like that's a, it's a beautiful thing to keep and be proud of your achievement. So shelving will work for that. Right, yes. Really good storage solutions. Where were you five years ago when my kids had... Uh, <laughs> I was teaching, that's where.